Hi, this is the third video of what would otherwise have been a single video. I know I don't show it, but I've been crying. It's been less than an hour, or maybe an hour, since I started the first video. Um, my mom came in and she just didn't care. I don't I don't understand why I let her get to me, how I let her get to me. I don't understand. However, uh, most people would think I'm crazy for that. If I wasn't Christian, I would have killed myself tonight. I actually called. I actually looked up suicide hotline. Maybe I found the wrong one. National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. English and Spanish. It's the first thing that came up um, when I googled suicide hotline and I got a counselor who doesn't believe I'm suicidal. The only reason I managed not to kill myself long enough to call is because I'm Christian, because I have a brother who cares. Even if my mother doesn't even know why she can't. She doesn't even know why. She doesn't even she doesn't even know why. She doesn't care why she doesn't treat me better. She doesn't even know why she favors my brother and despises me. She doesn't even know why. And I've dealt with it my entire life. I'm twenty four. And I've dealt with it my whole life. Pretty much twenty years uh, from from the time of remembering, you know, 20 years of constant rejection, even to the point of not having my medical needs fulfilled, such as my ops are being treated, you know, and uh, other things. Because she doesn't believe I really need it, she, doesn't, she believes that somehow I'm, I'm somehow magically healthier than regular people. I don't understand. She's a normal human being. She's not she's not she's not psychotic. She thinks and she feels and everything just like a regular human being. She's bit messed up and she's been through hell. And it's, it's messed her up. But, she's a regular human being. I don't understand how any human being can devote every moment and every reflex they have to hating somebody else without a cause. I have never wronged her. I've never hit her. Ever. Ever. And she's afraid of me. And she hates me. And she says she doesn't. But her actions say otherwise. I don't understand how any human can do that. I have never devoted, I, I don't even know how to possible, to devote every, every single day to doing, to doing something. Uh, the only things I spend that much time doing on uh, breathing, which I don't even really fully control. Even with the breathing problems I was born with, I don't fully control it. But anyway, I, I called this National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, and they said they're not a chat line, they're not a talk line. 
they're a they're an emergency line for somebody who's going to commit suicide. If I wasn't Christian, I would have done it before I even called. And now I called, and if I wasn't Christian, I would already, I would have done it after the call. I can't imagine what it must be like for someone who sees death as less severe, who does not think about an eternal or, or long-standing existence, who just looks at today, because I, I'm 24, I know I can live to be 100, I'm thinking about the future, a long-standing, I can't imagine what it must be like for somebody who just thinks about, I uh, haven't lived only the few years that they've lived and wanting to end it without any consideration for anything beyond that in the mortal sense or the eternal sense I can't imagine that I hope the audio on this video is working out because I want to post it today I really do I really do I'm going to go for my uh, walk with my brother right after this video and then I'm going to try to post them But for those who are suicidal, if you're thinking of calling National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, they're an emergency organization. They they don't try to talk you out of it. They just I, I, it's like calling 911. I guess it, it, it's I, I don't even know why why they exist. What they're supposed to be for? If all they do is somehow get you some emergency services, you may as well just call 911. It's the same thing, I guess, because apparently there's, there's no talking. But the main thing about being suicidal is talking about it to try and talk one's way out of it and then get some emergency help. It, it's, they go together. I don't understand how anyone meant to segregate that, to separate talking about wanting to kill yourself. And she even asked me why I'm feeling suicidal. And I tried to tell her, and, I, and she's, she doesn't want to, want to talk about it. She doesn't want to find out why I... Normally, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm suicidal, I, I, I'll, watch a, I'll watch a YouTube video, or, or play a game, or do art, or, or just read a book, or, or fantasize and contemplate life in, in a greater context. And, and it helps. I'll talk to my brother. But how can I would already have killed myself and she doesn't think I'm suicidal. And she just hangs up on me. I didn't even say goodbye. She just hung up. She says, I'm going to hang up because this is an emergency service. And I don't believe you're suicidal. You just need to get out of the house. Really? Seriously? I call. That's a joke. I call. I, I'm not just. I'm not looking for somebody to talk to. I called and I said. I started off with. What? Well, what? I started off saying I, I'm. I'm suicidal. I want. I, I, I want to die, and I, I don't understand why. I just, and she thinks I just called. To have somebody to talk to. Really? That's, that's horrible. I can't, if somebody else had called this woman and gotten the response from her that I got, they would have killed themselves immediately after me. Wow. Wow. I'm not gonna do that to people. If I can get, I might not be there the same day. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't really use Skype. Even though I have a Skype, I, I, I can't even have it up all the time because my computer won't allow for it. Um, I can barely manage to have up just 
an internet browser, it's, it's just too old, the software is too old, it's older even than the laptop, it's just it's not good enough because it's so constantly updated. I definitely need to to update this computer, to get a new computer or something. I, I, I to figure out how to transfer just the programs that I have. Or maybe I can make a list of the programs and look them up and start all over. And I can I know I can transfer with my stuff my pictures. And Mozilla Firefox syncs your add on syncs your add on. The hardest part is gonna be the passwords. I got 60, 80 passwords, most of it school. Uh, I, I don't even remember the majority of those locations and things that I had to sign up for. If anybody has any advice on how in the world to transfer passwords, because there's no, I can't even sync the Firefox unless I can remember the password. Would that bring the passwords over? Can anyone tell me? Is anyone going to see this video? I would have killed myself tonight, and this woman doesn't think I'm suicidal. That's a joke. I'm not going to do that to people. I want to help. Even if I can't always help myself. I'm still holding on. And I want to help you. I don't even know who you are. But if anybody ever sees this video, I want to help. Talk to me. Please. I don't want to do to you what so many have done to me. What this woman just did to me. She didn't care. She didn't even think I was suicidal. She just figured, oh, I, if I go out and get some exercise and a volunteer at the library, seriously, that's going to solve all my problems. Really. Well, maybe some kind of magical thing will happen. Maybe I'll encounter somebody who, 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 who will just randomly give me a bunch of money. And all, everything will be resolved. And, uh, and I'll find, fall in love and Prince Charming and I, I, I don't know. I don't know what in the world this woman is thinking. I don't know. Alright. I want to do better than that for whoever contacts me. I want to do better than that. So if you contact me, I I'm going to try to talk to you. I'm going to try to help you. I'm going to try to do the best that I can. And tragically, it won't be live. Uh, I, I won't be able to communicate with you in no time. I won't be able to be there for you physically. But I will be able to talk to you. I will send messages. I will try to keep in touch. That's why this channel exists. That's why I made it. To help people like me. To help people who otherwise don't have anyone. I, I'm going to do that for somebody to talk to. <laughs> my brother gave my mom an ultimatum. That if she doesn't start treating me like a, a human being, giving me the decency of a human being, he's going to throw her out after a year. Uh, she'll be going to a care center. She's not going to lose everything. She's going to have everything made. She'll have more there than she will here. The only difference is she's not going to have her kids there. We'll probably still end up visiting her, and yet. It feels so wrong to think about abandoning my mother, and yet she would be better off at some care center. She already believes that she was. She, we can't care for her as well as she needs. I love my mom. 
Some people think you're crazy for that, but you don't just stop loving someone. Love is something more. Love, love is a way of life. You can love even your enemies. It doesn't mean you approve of what they do. It doesn't mean you support their wicked ways and horrific deeds. It means you rather they didn't do those things. It means you rather they were decent people, that they were people worth, that they were worthy companions, that they were moral and just and merciful, that they loved as well. You can love even your enemies. It's not an emotion. If love were an emotion, there'd be nothing but a freaking thing. Fear is an emotion. Depression even passes away. Even suicidal thought pass away. Love is not an emotion. Love is not some freaking thing. Love is life. It's how you live. It's your reflexes, your desires, your goals. Love is more than that. It's not some quickly passing thing. It's not something that just comes over you and then it goes away. That's not what love is. If that's what you think it is, that's not love. You don't know love. Love is enduring. Love ever. You can love even your enemies. My mother has wronged me more than anyone else in my whole life. And I love her. And I do right by her. And I'm just. And I'm merciful. And I'm not abusive. And I'm not cruel. And I don't do horrible things to her. And I haven't abandoned her. I've done the very best that I can do. Because I love enough to try. Because I love. And therefore I try. I love every one of you. I love the world and I want the best for everyone. I really do. Even if they don't want the best for themselves, I don't understand why people hate themselves so much. I understand a lot of things about why people are so cruel to one another and to themselves. Why they allow themselves to be consumed by the wicked ways of this world, or why they're doing such wickedness in the world. It doesn't even make sense. People are greedy and therefore they jack up the prices so nobody can afford to buy their stuff. Oh wait, if nobody can afford to buy their stuff, they're not going to get any money. They do things that are contrary for the sake of what they pursue. They want more money, so they never really make it harder to get money. That, that doesn't even make sense. They want love, and therefore they seek out people and abuse them. Because they want decent people, but they're not decent people themselves. You have to embody good qualities to receive good qualities. You have to make a change in you. If you don't like the person you see in the mirror, change that person. But honestly, it's not that, oh, well, I look fat, so I should starve myself. Honestly, I've been tempted with that lately. I'm some 240 to 50 pounds, depending on fluctuation. And it's not because I eat tons and tons of food, or I eat tons of junk food. I eat really well. And I'll have maybe one meal in the whole day. I don't eat that much. I don't eat a lot. And I don't eat bad things. I try to eat the best that I can. I try to do whatever I can afford. We're now getting into vitamins and stuff. Because I'm so deficient in things. Particularly vitamin D, which comes from sunlight. 
humans are partly photosynthesizing. Like plants, we absorb sunlight and process it. We actually do feed on sunlight to some extent. And I had only 17 vitamin D in me, and it's supposed to be 150 to 173, something like that. And I only had 17. So um, I'm almost fatally low on vitamin D from being isolated. They say if you look at the right side of, person, of a person's face, you can tell what they're feeling. But while my right, the right side of my face looks functions up here, it, it's rather expressionless. It doesn't show much. I mean, when I squint, it's like pretty much on that side. Not that I can't squint my right one, it's just. The upper left side of my face tends to show more. And when I smile, yeah, it's pretty much that side too. So the right side of my face, for some particular reason, doesn't respond. I mean, I can raise my eyebrow. The brows work just fine. But, um, I don't know what's up with the rest of my face. It just kind of doesn't do anything. Even when I smile, it's kind of just like half thing that doesn't really smile as fully as the other side. That's <laughs> weird, but um, yeah, I'm rambling. Uh, oh, it, maybe there's. I know that nobody who's suicidal is going to just go to multiple different hotlines. I don't even want to call another one. I don't want. I I only want to risk coming across another person who doesn't think I'm suicidal enough. Who, who just thinks uh, I want to talk to someone seriously? That's, not a, that's insane. Oh my word! It, it, there should be a review for suicide hotline <laughs> or something. Um, my brother said if I call another suicide hotline, or if I push to that extreme. He's going to get my send my mother to a home immediately, and she she can. I mean, she wants to be at a care center. She wants to be provided for. She wants those things. That's what she wants. She she wants to be in her own home and do her own things and be in charge and be around her kids. And yet, she wants the luxuries and the care and the attendance and the so forth of being in a home. Um, I, I don't I don't get it. She's so contrary. She's so contrary. I don't even understand how a human could be like that. And maybe if she actually talked to her psychiatrist, really talked to him. Maybe you would be able to work out what's really wrong with her and help her to work work through it. Because you have to work through it. You can't just ignore it and it goes away. That's not how it works. You work through it. You think on it and you move through it. You don't spend all your time on it and you don't try to work through it all in one day. But you devote the time to understanding and accepting and acknowledging what ha has happened. You don't just try to forget about it. It doesn't work like that. You can't just, if something bad happened to you, you completely ignore it. No. Humans are fascinating. So much potential. Oh, so many abilities. So much capacity to love, to heal, to help, to comfort and encourage others and oneself and, and to work together and
It seems like the world is just filled with uh, bad people, like negative people, and yet that's not true. There's lots of really good people out there. I've been fortunate enough to meet a lot of them. It seems, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, I've met a lot of good people, more more decent people, one-on-one -on -one than bad ones, and yet you look on the news and you see nothing but terrible things. Honestly, I think it's about half and half when you get right down to it. But you don't hear about the bad, you don't hear about the good people as much because bad news sells. Bad, you don't talk about, oh, I, I had a good day today, and like every other day, or I had a decent day today. You don't, you don't do that. It's always, I had a horrible day today. Everybody talks about the bad stuff, they don't talk about the good. They don't, you don't see YouTube videos of somebody going, I have food, I have water, I have shelter, I have warmth or, and, or cooling and or, uh, I have all my survival needs met. I have a loving brother. I'm not naked. Um, there's holes in my clothing, serious ones, but I'm not naked. I could take a shower. I can take a long, hot shower. There are people who have never bathed in hot water in their entire life. As far as I know, I don't have any parasites. I'm still alive. I'm doing pretty well. I have a higher education. I'm actually very well studied. I'm quite intelligent. I've worked very hard to be intelligent. And I'm well blessed with it as well. That's, that's not... Pride. That's just a fact. Uh, having pride is when you try to rub in, your, in the face of everybody else how wonderful you are. But, and that's the negative being prideful. But you're supposed to acknowledge what you're capable of. If you're saying that you can do this and so forth, that's a fact. It's either a fact or it's fiction. If you're lying, it's fiction. But if it's a fact you're supposed to acknowledge it. So I'm gonna go walk in. I'm gonna post these. And I hope they help somebody. I really, really do. And if you don't believe I care, I dare you to prove me wrong. Please talk to me. Bye. And God be with you.